So in this video, I'm going to show you how I took these crazy messy lashes from what we've just seen to this beautiful fluffy set that we have here. And this is my stunning model Rebecca, and that was the before, and now we have the after. Hi, my name is Frankie Widows. I am a master lash artist with 11 years experience within the industry. I'm also the founder of Eyelash Excellence, which is my brand, and we ship our products across the globe. I'm still a working lash artist. I am a lash trainer. I'm also a lash judge at the biggest lash competitions, and I do judge online. Now with my videos, I love to share all the techniques that I've learned over the years. So hope you enjoy them, and thank you in advance for your support. So I'm going to be using Clover Lashes, which I'm loving at the moment, as well as my Supersonic Blue, which is super quick curing and just perfect for this job. Now on Rebecca, she has got wide set, slightly droopy eyes, so the lash map that you'll see I'm drawing has got a lot of height towards the middle of the eye, just trying to draw her eyes closer together and give them a little bit more lift. Now I do love these clover lashes on Rebecca and the reason being is that because her lashes grow in such crazy layers and crazy directions, I need something that is super fluffy and is gonna attach really easily to these crazy natural lashes. Classic lashes on Rebecca would not suffice because it's so difficult to try and get sort of fluffy coverage with a classic lash, it just isn't gonna happen because it's a single strand. And also, unless my direction was perfect, it would look quite gappy. Whereas with a clover lash, because they've got such fluffy tips, they're gonna give you lots of coverage to disguise her naturally crazy growing uh, natural lashes. And because they've got this very long base on them, they attach really well to crazy growing natural lashes. And you can see that base is nice and straight here. And then we've got that sprouting out tip at the end. You also need a really good glue. Like I said, I'm using Supersonic. And the reason being, when you've got crazy natural lashes, you need a glue that is magnetic. It's got instant grab. It's just gonna to attach onto that natural lash and you can just hold it and position it in the direction that you want it to go in. If you've got any flexibility in your glue, as in it's quite slow curing, you'll just find that your lash will flop over and then you'll just have crazy extensions that will just mirror what's going on with the natural lash. Here. So yeah, the clover lash is just absolutely perfect for this. So easy to attach because of the straight base that you've got going on and produces a lovely fluffy look that we've got going on here. So I just like to dry the lashes off at the end of the set and also I will then always come in with my Rapid Cure, which is a post bonder. It just really helps to make the bonds elastic. So here I'm just painting with a micro brush onto the base of the bonds. It will give you about an extra week retention just because like I said, it makes those bonds lovely and elastic. And then we've got a final little brush through at the end here, just showing you how full and fluffy these clover lashes are and how they go from this crazy look to this beautiful fluffy look that we've got going on here. So come and visit my shop, eyelashexcellence.com and grab yourself some of these incredible lashes.